friends and welcome back and welcome back to another Walgreens video. I have a few deals here to share with you. So getting started, I picked up the Kids Nausea Medicine. This is in store priced at $6.99. We do not have any manufacturer coupons for this. However, we do have a bottle rebates as well as a Shopkick offer. So they're $6.99. I used the 25% off email coupon that took off $1.75 bringing it down to $5.24. I used a dollar register reward, making it $4.24, and I used $4 in Walgreens cash. I paid the $0.24 cent cash out of pocket. I submitted to Ibotta for $2 back, and then Shopkick is giving 1,200 kicks. That's $4.80, plus the scan kicks of either 15 or 20. So not too bad there. Now the Ibotta offer on this is due to expire within a day. Make sure you're double checking your app to verify that you have that offer available. All right, and then on this transaction here, now I did this online doing curbside pickup, taking advantage of a online only discount code, and then also taking advantage of the high value digital manufacturing coupons we have available. Also stacking in the weekly in-ad spend perk, for spend 25 and you get $5 Walgreens cash back. I'm also stacking in a unadvertised Catalina promotion. And by unadvertised, I just mean it's not gonna be in the ad or in store. So this promotion here, I posted the other day over on Instagram, Facebook, and the community tab here. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and or Facebook. As again, it's always easier for me to post FYIs and update you guys on any deals, etc. over there versus always hopping on camera to do a video. Okay, so this here is whenever you purchase $25 of participating Neutrogena, Avino, or Clean and Clear products, you will get a $5 register reward back. Now, this is a deal giving back a register reward. Therefore, you can use Walgreens cash to pay without meeting the spend requirement with your manufactured coupons, manufactured register rewards, and any cash out of pocket. So that means you can pick up $25 worth of product. You can use $20 in Walgreens cash and you will get back the $5 register reward. Just remember, registrable board deals are always one print per transaction per deal. So if you were to go in store and purchase $50 worth of Neutrogena, Avino, and or Clean and Clear products, you will still only get one $5 registrable board printed. Okay? So what I did is I built this transaction up, adding in additional products so that I can earn back the $5 in Walgreens cash for spending $25. So what I picked up was the Red Bull. They're priced at $2.29. We have a digital coupon for $2.29 off of one, making it absolutely free. Now that digital coupon, you have to search for it. If you go into the app or the .com, you wanna type in Red Bull, it will pull up the Red Bull and then the coupon should be below it. Just click the coupon. And then on the Ad Kids mouthwash, these are priced at $4.50. There is a IVC coupon for a dollar off one, a digital coupon for a dollar and fifty cent off one, and we have a bottle rebate for a dollar back on one. So both of these together give you the breakdown individually. So the Act mouthwash came out to $2.09 after coupons and then getting back a dollar on Ibotta. And again, the Red Bull is absolutely free. Then on the razors, these are on sale this week for buy one and get one half off. And on promotion for when you buy two, you get $4 in Walgreens cash back. We have a $5 digital coupon on both. So for the women's, these were priced at $9.29. The men's was $8.29. So the half off of the cheaper item would be $4.14. Now, Walgreens technically does not give overage. So with the digital coupon and shopping online, what happens is the digital coupon will be lowered down 
to the cost of the product. In store, typically the digital coupon will not come off because it is more than the cost of the product. Sometimes it will. If you have enough product in the transaction, the digital coupon will still apply. But that is a hit or miss in store. So again, online, the digital coupon will just adjust down to the cost of the product. So for the razors, $13.43 minus the $5 digital coupon. And then again, the $4.14 is what adjusts it down, makes it $4.29. And then getting back $4 in Walgreens cash. And then also, if you're utilizing pgeveryday.com, then submit your receipt to that as well. And I think it's pgeverydaygood.com. Anyways, submit your receipt for that and you get points back for the PNG products that you're purchasing. All right, so on the Neutrogena and the Clean and Clear products, we're stacking two separate promotions here. We have the online discount code for whenever you purchase $30 of Neutrogena products, you get $10 off. And then we have the Calolina promotion for whenever you purchase $25 of Advino, Neutrogena, and or Clean and Clear products, you will get a $5 register reward. So stacking these together. Now for the Neutrogena, this is $22.99. The Wipes is $8.49. For these two products here, we're over $30. So the $10 online discount code will apply. Now with that discount code, I'm not sure how it would have affected this promotion here. So to make sure that after the discount code is applied, I'm still at $25. I threw in the clean and clear. Now the clean and clear is $6.99. We do not have a separate manufacturing coupon for it. There is a $3 coupon that will attach, but it's the same $3 coupon that's attaching here. There's also a three off two coupon, and I think it may attach to two of the wipes and then the other $3 coupon would attach to the clean and clear. So when you're in the app or on the .com, just play around with putting things in your basket to see what coupons are applying. So I use a $10 manufacturer coupon on this and a $3 manufacturer coupon on this and then no coupon here, okay? So again, putting all these together, stacking two promotions here. And then on the clean and clear, we do have an Ibotta offer for $2 back on one. Now make sure you're picking up these wipes here. We have two separate Ibotta rebate offers. That's giving back $2 each. So a total of $4 coming back from Ibotta on the wipes. Make sure it is the wipes with the micellar cleansing cloth as these are the ones that qualify for the offers on Ibotta. So now we have two offers going for our Ibotta bonus here. All right, so... Total for all these products here was $38.47. The $10 discount code applies. The $10 manufacturer coupon and the $3 manufacturer coupon. That brings it down to $15.47. And then getting back $6 from Ibotta. Again, you're going to get back two separate offers here. So that's $4 and then $2 here. Now, I built up this transaction so that I can use the most in-store money, paying the least amount of cash out of pocket. If I would have just did the Neutrogena and the Clean and Clear by itself, I would have been at $15.47. I would have been able to use $10 in Walgreens cash, but I would have had a balance of $5.47 cash out of pocket. So instead, I'm getting more product for the least amount of cash out of my pocket. And I'll show you guys the receipt here. So again, these curbside pickup online receipts do read a little bit different than what they do from a in-store receipt, but all the discounts are there. So my subtotal was $21.85 with tax $23.65. I used $20 in Walgreens cash. I paid $3.65 cash out of pocket. I got back. The $5 from the um, Avino, Neutrogena, and Clean and Clear uh, promotion. I got back $5 from spending $25, and that's the Walgreens cash. I got back $4 Walgreens cash for the razors, 
and then I got back six on Ibotta here. So everything works together when you stack everything like this with Walgreens, their deals, their promotions. They all do stack and work together. It's just knowing how the foundation works and building your foundation, building your transaction to where you're getting the most bang for the buck. Okay, then the last deal I picked up was on the Vera Rain um, fragrance. These here are regular price in store for $8.99. We have a digital coupon for $2 off one. That coupon does pop up on the app and it scans for this product. And then there's also a $3.50 digital coupon that's supposed to be for the fragrance sets. However, that digital coupon is also applying to these here. So $2 digital coupon comes off. $3.50 coupon comes off. Now I use the 25% off email coupon on these that took off $4.50 and then $5.50 on the digital coupons. That leaves it at $7.98. I would have been able to use five in Walgreens cash and then paying the $2.98 plus tax cash out of pocket. Instead, I went ahead and threw in the deodorant, this is on clearance for $3.49 in my store. This way I'm building up my transaction so that I can use the most in store money and pay the least amount of cash out of pocket. So $3.49, I did use the $1.50 insert coupon. So for all three products, $11.47 minus the $1.50 on the Dove, that brought it down to $9.97. I used 10 in Walgreens cash. I paid the tax and then I got back $10 from Ibotta and I also submitted to Fetch for the dub. Now let me explain on Ibotta. So on Ibotta, there's two separate rebates for Vera Rain that's attached to this product. One is $2 back on this particular product. The other is $3 back for the Vera Rain fragrance cologne set, the more expensive product. However, both rebates is attaching to one of these. So you're getting back $5 from Ibotta for each one. $2 rebate and a $3 rebate. So getting back a total of $10 from Ibotta for this transaction here. Now, if I had the time, I definitely could have built that transaction up a little more, throwing in additional product in order to get the spend 25, get five in Walgreens cash, or the spend 40 and get 10 in Walgreens cash. I was pressed for time, so I wasn't able to do that. I'm hoping that the Ibotta offer resets on the Vera Rain, and I will definitely be going back to grab more, utilizing digital coupons on my other accounts. All right, so that is everything I have for you. If you have questions about anything, feel free to leave it in the comments for me. As always, thanks very much for watching, and until next time, guys, have a coupon.